just like Beyonce, we all have 24 hours in a day, but yet we still feel like sometimes that 24 hours isn't enough time for us to do all that we want to do. So how can we do all those things, get the results that we want and enjoy life? Here's how as a busy person, you can live your best life. One, learn to delegate and outsource. I never really understood how valuable this was until I started doing it. And because I started doing it, I'm a lot more happier and I'm so much more productive. And I believe one of the best ways to figure out what you should and should not delegate or outsource is to figure out where you bring the most value. In the beginning of my YouTube journey, I would end up doing everything. I would write the script, I would video it, I would edit it, I would upload it all by myself. And that would take up a lot of time. And what it meant when I was doing all those things was that I would be up at like 2, 3 a.m. on Saturday night, or rather Sunday morning, editing these videos when in fact I probably should have been getting some much needed shut eye. So I got to a point where I was extremely stressed out and for the most part it was because this thing was taking so long and it was taking up so much of my time. So what I did was, was that I figured out in my whole process of creating a YouTube video, I figured out where did I hold the most value and where did I hold the least value. So what I did was I reflected on all the things that I was doing around YouTube and I found that I spend the most of my time editing the video. And while the edit is important, where I bring the most value is in the content itself. I messaged a friend, we came up with a deal, and now he edits pretty much most of my videos. And he's been amazing and incredible, as you can see, and he's better than me, so I'm quite happy with it. I've saved so much time that I can actually use to now actually creating content and making the video. Plus, this also allows me to be a lot more consistent. I've also been like in life a lot more happier because the stress of the edit is off my shoulders. It's honestly one of the best decisions that I've made this year. Two, you knew this one was coming, it's stay organized. However you get organized, just do it. Even if you're lazy, try and figure out a way to get organized. Find out what works for you. For me, I use Google Calendar and I pretty much put every single thing in there. Where and what work I'm doing, events, phone calls, gym, downtime, like I've literally put every single thing in there. I honestly love my calendar. Like it stops me from like double booking. Plus it also makes sure that I know in advance if I've got a lot of like hectic weeks ahead or I've got a hectic week ahead that I know that I need to, you know, schedule a bit of downtime before and after so I can make sure that I'm looking after myself and not getting too caught up in the rush of everything. And as a result, having my health deteriorate. This leads me on to the next principle, which is make health not work your priority. A long journey needs a healthy vessel. This right here, you sitting right there or standing, whatever you're doing, that is your vessel. So make sure that you look after it. Make sure you eat right, make sure you sleep right, make sure you drink enough water, make sure you work out. Do whatever it takes to make sure this, this body right here is in prime condition to be able to do all the things that you want to do. The Dalai Lama has an amazing and really thought provoking quote that I love coming back to. Now keep in mind, it does say man um, and like just take that to be like he, she or they, whatever you choose to identify as, but I'll read the quote as it is. The Dalai Lama when asked what surprised him most about humanity, he he answered man because he sacrifices his health in order to make money and he sacrifices money to recuperate his health and that he is so anxious about the future that he does not enjoy the present the result being that he does not live in the present or the future he lives as if he is never going to die and then dies having never really lived now that's a long quote and we can sit here and unpack it all day if we want to but we're just going to focus on that first part over there like we literally give up our health in the pursuit of wealth and then eventually when our health has deteriorated to a point, we end up spending the wealth that we pursued on getting back our health again. So it just ends up being like a vicious cycle that just continues. And so hopefully, all right, if we make health a priority and not work, then it means that we focus on this body. We focus on, you know, making sure that this vessel is healthy so we can do all these different things that we want to do. Um, and then we don't end up in this vicious cycle. The next thing that I want to share with you is for my people that love to overcommit themselves. And that is this right here. It's either a hell yes or it's a no. This is a lesson outlined in Derek Siver's book, Hell Yes or No. And it is literally that. If someone approaches you with something, an opportunity or a decision, whatever it is, and if whatever they are, like present you with, right? If it's not a hell yes, then simply just say no. Because chances are, if you're a busy person, you've got a lot going on and a lot of value going on as well. And like, if you add an extra thing to your plate that you're not necessarily excited or passionate about, then the chances are, is you're gonna probably end up crumbling under the pressure of all these different things that you got going on and then you render yourself unable to commit to all those things, or you do commit to all those things and your health, right? 
your health ends up taking the blow as a result of it and we all know what, what happens then. So yeah, it's either a hell yes or a no. I know it's sometimes hard to make these decisions and I will make a video about it. So please make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. But like, I suppose one way of kind of navigating this is like, if you're faced with two really, you know, really enticing um, opportunities or like outcomes, then I would highly suggest choosing the one that would bring you the most long-term benefit over short-term benefit and see how that goes. And the last one over here that's just been my favorite and it's been something that I've been obsessed with for the past couple of months, that is journey before destination. It's easy to get caught up in the fast life. The hustle and bustle of life can be quite exciting and the results that it brings with it. But very often we can find ourselves losing sight of what's actually meaningful. And sometimes we don't even give the time of day to ourselves to actually look back or even right now just look at the things that we've done and really truly take it all in for what it is and see how far we've come and how amazing we've been. Let your body, mind and emotions be here and now because this is where the magic is at. I've said this in a previous video, but I'm gonna say it again. But what I believe to be more important than the outcome itself is like how you got there and like how you get there. Like if we wanna really make sure that we do that well, it's about focusing on the journey. And the way that I've been doing that is literally just repeating to myself, you know, journey, for destination. It may sound even cliche. And it's I'm mostly saying it because I've been reading the Stormlight Archive, which is an amazing set of books, by the way. If you haven't read it, you better read it. It is like, oh, it's just incredible. Anyway, but like you'll find my you'll find me. Like if you were if you would ever see me, sometimes you'd find me standing in a corner or like just whispering to myself at random times throughout the day, journey before destination. And it can be like, it can be it can be really weird, but like it's, it's honestly just something that helps me stay grounded and helps me just slow down and kind of just, just, just take it all in, really. That's, that's all I'm doing. And I'm less stressed and happier because of it. All right, I hope at least one of those things helped you out. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you share it with someone, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will definitely see you in the next one. Catch you later, bye.